Hello friends and welcome to another video on Tutorials Point with me Richa. Today on the Hospitality Management module, we will talk about food service. Well, in any hotel or restaurant, whenever you go to have food, there is a particular way in which they function. So today in this module, we will talk about food services in detail. Let's take a look at the agenda. We will talk about what is food service, the restaurant business and how they function and work restaurant operations, restaurant industry organization, whether it's good to have a chain of restaurants or manage them independently or have a franchisee, competitive forces in the food service, issues which are being faced by the food service industry and what are the on-site food services all about. Well friends, I am sure you will start feeling hungry when we are talking about this module on food but control your taste buds. In food service, what we really mean is food service was called as food service by US English which is the Americans and it was called as catering industry by the Britishers. What we really mean to say is defining those businesses, institutions and companies responsible for any meal prepared outside the home. So any meal which is prepared outside the home is known as food service by the Americans and catering by the Britishers. This industry includes restaurants, it can include schools, as well as hospital uh, cafeterias, catering operations and many, many other fo formats. So whether you are you know, studying in a school or teaching in a school, whether you are studying or uh, rather you know, you are working in a hospital, what we are trying to say is that food is something which is global and food is something which is found everywhere. Well, the restaurant business is not an easy business to run in case you are planning to have a, your own restaurant. A restaurant or an eatery is a business which prepares and serves the food and drinks to customers in exchange for money. So you go to a restaurant to eat something, you get the food as well as the drinks and you have to pay money for it. And that's the basics of restaurant business. Now, if you are planning to start a successful restaurant, trust me, it is not going to be an easy job because there are a lot and lot of factors to run a red restaurant which is very, uh, you know, marketed well. So have the right intentions, understand why you really want to open a restaurant, have a solid business plan in place. If you do not have a business module which works for you, then in that case, your restaurant will be doomed for failure. So always have a good uh, strategically planned business plan for your restaurant. Location is something which is the most important thing when you're running a restaurant. If your restaurant is located not at a very busy and happening place, somewhere your, you know, your restaurant will not do too well because not many people will come to your restaurant. Hence, location at a very high marketplace or a crowded place where people definitely come is the key. Test your menu, make sure that your menu is up to the mark looking at your competitors. Hire essential help because to run a restaurant you will need lots and lots of people whether they are waiters or chefs who are preparing the food. Keep marketing and that's the essence of making sure that your restaurant is doing well. Marketing plays a very, very important role whether it's social media or digital marketing. So restaurant operations, let's take a look at that. Like fashion, restaurant business is also something which is changing day in and day out. There are a lot of dynamic factors uh, when it comes to restaurants, just like fashion industry. So offering discounts and coupons are very important if you want to make sure that your restaurant is running effectively. Social media for restaurants, so post pictures of your restaurants on social media. Restaurant, food truck, businesses. Sustainability and local food, you need to offer food which is localized according to the people's taste buds over there. And public health concern is something again you need to ensure. Your restaurant needs to have a certificate of safety so that you do not do any kind of harm to public who are coming into your restaurant to eat your food. Well, let's take a look at the operations which goes into running a particular restaurant. As I mentioned before, running a restaurant takes a lot of work and hence you need to understand whether it's a warehouse, production or restaurant, you need to have a front as well as a back office. Let's take a look at the front office things. Front office is facing the customers, right? So you need to have a customer configuration. You need to have touchscreen pause for billing. 
create your own flow plan if it's a multi floried business uh, you know uh, a location which has multiple storied for your restaurants user friendly working interface ordering businesses your mobile ordering apps are the new things nowadays payments loyalty members people who come back to you again and again are can be given a loyalty card and your employees who are working for you whether they are the chefs or the waiters or managers in your restaurant so these are people who are facing the pub you know your customers or clients on the other side you have the back office now back offices of course people who cannot see you people who are working in your back office are dashboards and alerts that you need to keep sending out to your customers restaurant supply chain your inventory management your marketing team menu engineering making sure that your food cost is absolutely all right loyalty programs enterprise reporting forecasting and planning team management and scheduling as well as international solutions so what we are trying to say is that making sure that your back end and your front end is working in a synergized manner in a balanced manner so that the restaurant can function in an effective way now let's take at restaurant chains whether they are independent or franchisee what works and what doesn't work well if you have a chain of restaurants the strength of having a chain for example a mcdonalds or a kfc these are chains which everybody is running so uh, certain strengths of certain chains are marketing and brand recognition your brand is already recognized in the market site selection expertise you have somebody who will go and select the site which is absolutely according to what they need for their restaurant access to capital you have people investing into it purchasing centrally administered control and information system so there is a parent company which is looking into all these other chains and you have a personal development program for your people who are working in those chains like a mcdonald or a kfc so these are certain strengths of having a chain of restaurants taking a look at how independent restaurants are function and what are their strengths and weaknesses well if you want to start your own restaurant uh, independent restaurant which is not a chain of restaurants you need to be a very flexible person you can uh, have flexibility of opening it in any uh, particular location you can also have the flexibility of opening and closing a restaurant according to your whims and fancies knowledge of the area is becomes very important of when you want to have your independent restaurant unique advantages in the local markets people would want to come to your independent restaurant because you have had um, a uh, you know kind of a buy in from your local uh, culturally uh, adopted people franchisee strength is all about franchisees now giving out their franchisee to people who want to run their particular uh, business and for that there are certain strengths and weaknesses franchisee offers the independence of having small ownership or business ownership supported by the benefits of a bigger business network you don't necessarily need to have a business experience you don't necessarily need to have uh, an understanding of how to run the business it's already been taught to you by the main franchisee and you just have to adopt their own their business module you don't have to have your own business plan franchisees have a higher rate of success than startup business and that's a study which has really come across saying that uh, franchisees do much much better than a startup own business what are the issues nowadays being faced by the food service so food safety uh, continues to be a top priority you need to understand that your food needs to be safe to be eaten by people limited time offers and promotion programs must be properly structured if you are giving out coupons or some kind of a freebie with your restaurant uh, or and any other additional services that you are giving needs to be properly structured and marketed well communication is something which is important between the front end back end as well as your customers leverage the big data in the supply chain so have everything all the data of your customers so that you are able to send them regular messages etc well friends on site food service when you go to eat uh, food at you know on site not really ordering from a zomato or a swiggy there are certain things in there you have staff restaurants you have executive dining which is your fine dining places vending machines at different uh, companies they have their vending machines of uh, coffee or some snacks items you have takeaways which most of the people have come up with 
luncheon meal trays wherein they serve your lunch or dinner in a very nicely packed tray patient staff and visitor dining in hospitals etc student and faculty dining in schools and colleges and special events or uh, weddings or any kind of a function which is happening in your family and you need uh, you know food service and drink service for that it is available so these are certain on site food services different ways of serving food in all of these locations so friends i do hope you have enjoyed listening to this module on food service please do not start feeling hungry as soon as you listen to this particular module thank you very much for happy uh, for you know listening to us and bon appetit thank you